So yeah. I'm gonna repeat it for you. Uh, okay, before you start, I'll just repeat it one last time, okay? So we're gonna take the, th the thumb, pay attention to your right hand finger, okay? We're gonna take the thumb, play the third string, index finger, second string open, and then you're gonna take the third fret on the first string, play it with your middle finger, go back to the second, second string, open with your index, and then uh, go back to your first string, with the third fret, with your middle finger, and the second uh, string open with your index. Okay, so can I hear you play it? Uh, show me your finger, show me your finger, uh, show me your guitar, because it's hard to make okay. out the sound for now, because of your tuning. So, um... And... Yeah, that's correct. That was good. So that that's the pattern that we're gonna be doing. Now for this whole so now we, we've learned to play this. We're just gonna go down one fret to the second fret and repeat the same exact thing, okay? So is it a third fret we go to the second fret? Okay. Um, should I show it? Yeah, show it to me. That that'd be great. Okay. So. Uh, are you playing the third fret or the second fret on the first string? The second fret. Okay, that's good. So um, now we're going to do the same thing with the same thing without any fingers on the left hand. Okay. So, okay. so it's going to sound like this. Okay. Okay. That's good. So now let's put those three things together. So it should sound like this. Okay, so should I try it out? Yeah, play it, uh, play it accurately. So you can, you don't even have to play it at that speed. Just play it accurately, okay? Okay. Sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, take your time. Take your time. Yeah, sure. That's not a problem. So take just yeah, you could take a couple minutes and um, I can listen to you. Yeah, that's great. Let's hear you. to improve your guitar posture i don't want you to hold it like this but instead hold it like this okay yeah that's much better yeah on that on that left leg that's perfect 
So um, now what I want you to do is so that we've done. So we're gonna repeat the same thing uh, by going to the second fret this time, okay? So we go third fret, second fret, open, and second fret. So it'll sound like this. Second fret, open, second fret. Okay. So, so can I practice it? Yeah. It, the, the fourth thing is the same thing as the second thing, okay? Okay. That in mind. I'll just practice one. Yeah. very similar to what we did before with the right hand but um, instead of playing on the first no, on the first string we're gonna go to the second string and play the first fret so it's gonna sound like this so it's the exact same thing with the right hand just the left hand instead of go, we're gonna go to the second string where uh, on the first fret okay so can I hear you play that so first, what we have, I have to do third fret, uh, and then second fret, then for, then open, and then first fret. Uh, no, third fret, second fret, open, second fret. Okay, and this okay. is all on the first string. Now we're gonna do the same right hand pattern with the sec, uh, with us playing the second uh, string, first fret. It's on the second string, not the first string. Second string. Okay, so the same pattern only. Um, so I so with the second string, right? Second string, first fret, not, not third. Fret, second fret. Okay, first I'll just practice this. Um, I'm done, so... Yeah, let's hear you play it. Okay. So far... This is all, you only have to play that once, okay? It's a di completely different pattern on this string, okay? So uh, we're gonna start off, let, let's forget what we did in the first line for now. We're just gonna play this. I 
and then for the second measure, measure, second time we do it, it's a little different. So instead of us going, instead of us changing the thing, instead of us changing the fret on the same string, now we're gonna play. We're gonna go to the third string and play the second fret. So we're gonna play both of these at the same time, okay? So we have both of these on our left hand at the same time. So. Okay. Just play those two things, okay? No need to play anything before that, okay? Okay, try to hold down that second fret, uh, second fret on the third string a little bit more to get that more cleaner sound, but okay, that was fine. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to playing everything open, okay? So okay. the second line, this is how it goes. Second string, uh, first fret, then both of these together, which you just did. And now we're gonna play everything open. And then we're gonna go back to both of these that you just did. Okay. First, you have to play everything open, right? Um, no, I told so. Yeah, you have to play it. And now we're gonna play it with the third string and the second string, both of these together. Yeah, 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to start. So that first line that we learned, right, with the third fret, second fret, open, second fret. So we're going to combine that with the second line, which was the part where we have the second fret, then the third, uh, third, second string, third string, open, and then both of these strings, okay? So, um, so, uh, so I'll show you how it's supposed to sound like the whole thing. <laughs> Open, second fret, first fret on the second string, second fret on the third string, everything open, and then back to this. Okay. Yeah, so let's hear you try and play that. I should start for me first, right? Um, I think you skipped one thing. So what we're going to do, Ditya, is we're going to go second string over here. Then we're going to add this. Okay. Then we're going to go completely open. And back to this. No, so first I played the third fret, second fret, first fret, then second fret. Then I played those two and then open and then again those two. Um, so should I add? Yeah, uh, I think you missed one of them. The first line, you played it completely correctly. The second line, I think what you did is you skipped the open part. Okay. So you went like this. So you repeated it twice. But in fact, between those two, there's an open part where, and then it goes back to them. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's hear you play that one more time, please. Okay. One second. Yeah.
I know why, but in my game, I'm not able to press it so much. Okay. So what you really want to do is when you're playing the guitar, you wanna you don't want to put too much pressure towards the. So let's take this finger for example. So you don't want to play it here. You want to play. You don't want to play it very close to the tip of your finger as well. So in between this line that you have here and this finger, try to look for the middle in between that. Over there, you require. Uh, it's easier for you to put your finger. Okay. So instead of this, okay. try to put it towards the tip of your finger. Try to focus your efforts towards the middle of that. That flesh, the more fleshy part of your finger over here. Okay. Okay. Can I just practice it again? Yeah, sure. Okay, that was much better. So um, we're almost approaching the end of our lesson today. So do you have any questions about what we did today? Uh, no, uh, but um, I have a doubt. It's not regarding this, but if people say that when you play the guitar, your hand starts sweating and then they can cut your finger. So I get a lot of hurt with that. Well, Do you have any tip for it? Yeah. So when you first start off the guitar, I think you have an acoustic guitar, right? A more. Um, so I have a nylon string guitar, which is a little less wearing on your fingers. But I don't. Um, you you occasionally, if you play for like hours straight or very long periods of time, uh, at once, it's only until that point is uh, if you only play for like hours at a stretch you would get blisters. But I guess when you start off, you do, your fingers are not accustomed to it. So what I would suggest- Yeah, because I'm new to it. I just got a guitar recently. So what I want you to do is try to just, in, you don't have to play any pieces or anything, just, just keep playing random strings on your guitar and your fingers get more accustomed to it and it gets a little more, your fingers become more tough in these areas. So they get less affected each time you hit the guitar. Okay, so that's my advice to you for that. Okay. And you should ideally try to be playing with more uh, a combination of your flesh and nail, so you don't end up only playing with your flesh. Okay. So you wanna. Okay. So if you play a little bit more with your nail, that re relieves the pressure off your fingers, right? So uh, you uh, you don't get as many blisters or any type of injuries that way. So. Okay. 
So I guess with that, we can end today's class. This week, I want you to just work on that song. Um, okay. And uh, I think I will, I'll see you next week at the same time, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye.